I think painting is the most immediate kind of response as an artist, you know? And I think intuitively as kids, we, 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 we're all drawers, and we're all painters. And I just think that um, that has been an important part of my life. I've always been a pop painter. And so being a pop painter is, is always dealing with sort of commercial, contemporary, um, pop cultural issues and subject matter. So I look at the kind of decline of the individual and the rise of the mass media. And in, in, my, in my work, for me, um, you know, it's about the brand name heroes and the, um, the new identities that are created through the media. You know, I'm, I'm inspired by um, creative people. And creative people, be it artists, be it dancers, be it poets, be it writers, I mean, some of my favourite artists are poets, you know, the Ginsberg and um, Jack Kerouac and that whole beat movement, you know. But the pop, the pop um, movement has influenced me immensely, you know, the Warhols, the, you know, um, that whole, you know, um, you know, Liechtenstein and Jasper Johns, um, you know, all that, that mob. Um, they've, um, they've always inspired me. As a kid, I remember seeing Picasso's work for the very first time and I was absolutely blown away by it, you know. When I, when I paint, I'm always looking for um, interesting kind of subject matter and, um, and, and themes, ones that, that, ones that people will understand and things that will kind of obviously appeal to me. Statements are important as well, but a lot of what I do is a negotiation of, um, of, of, of space on the canvas, you know. I'm always working on different shows and, you know, I finish the show and start a new show. But I think the most satisfying work is always your last work, you know.